It's a race to nine, as always. And after breaking off, stymied right now and not an easy cut on the two. Oh, what a shot from Shaw. Is that... He's such an inspirational potter. When he's on his game, of course, that could all change with a successful title defence. Skyler Woodward. Uh, how's it going, man? Yeah, good, thanks. I'll tell you what, Jason's played some lovely shots so far in this first rack. The key to this rack was a very thin two ball across that far short rail. Knocked that in. And ever since, it's been plain sailing. It's been really good stuff. Not the kind of run out you expect in the first rack when players are getting acclimatized to conditions and getting that cue arm going so 1-0 to the DC the defending champion take control so when it comes to making those wild card choices I know in the Ryder Cup the the captain rings up the guys or speaks to them personally will you be doing that as well Biggest ever crowd, and that will give you and your team immense support. Oh yeah, I'm I'm excited. I've heard nothing but good things about this place, also, and uh, keep safe and well. Treat, especially in tournaments like this, you got to treat everybody with respect and, and play, just play the best you can every time, or, or uh, you're going to be in trouble. So many good players here that that I've never seen. Well, treating his opponent with respect is. So many players, but like the the well-known Vietnamese players that we that we all see all the time didn't do that well but then you had like f point of the side pocket so I'm not sure maybe we could have to shoot it towards the corner which he he did have to couldn't really tell how how close it was to the to the side it's Of course, Skylar, your opposing captain. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. My... At the last Moscone Cup, one of the notable aspects of it was his rivalry was going to continue. Oh, yeah, it's, it's going to be good. I told, uh, I told Federer, I said, anything I got to do with Jason, I'm just going to let you go. I'm going to let you all their little banner against each other, but... Nah, it's, it's going to be a good time, you know, either way. That's where he was about to be out of the, the event and gets through every time. It was uh, it was honestly quite an amazing tournament for him, as many times. But he just kept bouncing back from adversity. Doesn't look like an awful lot of adversity for Jason Shaw here. Indeed not. So 2-0. It was all about that 2-9 combination. Um, you know, the last two or three months, I've, I've decided just to not even pay attention. I think it did a little in the beginning, but uh, it's all good now. And, and uh, you know, I'm not I'm good. The team is really going to be on is, is really going to be on and, and earn it. So 
we'll uh, we'll but we'll see we'll see who's gonna make it and you know yeah I'm just sounds like a, a sensible philosophy to me good pot on the four there catching the point of the middle pocket made that a little more difficult but can he all he has uh, I don't really see much of a safety either and the cue ball is automatic to get back down table for the six if he did make it make it he didn't really play to to get shape on the the five ball which uh, <laughs> which I think well, is why now leaving Jason along straight in and, and him jawing it up so that'll work now looks like we're gonna have a safety battle here yeah he played that shot brilliantly I thought the, the You know, Paul is so popular. Take his picture. It's crazy here, here in Vietnam, how many how many fans we all have, and uh, it's, it's so big here. It's amazing. But it's it's definitely awesome to see that how big of a in the. Reyes Cup team, the Asian Reyes Cup team next week in Manila. Oh, that's no good. Funny spot there. Maybe maybe supposed to just overcut the five and bank it to the end rail and just play the cue ball up to the other the top end of the table and just yourself in the best position, just leave your opponent in uh, the worst position you can from there, which if not, I feel like he should have. He should have. Jason should clean up here now. A nice quick lead. Well, when he potted the six down the right, reactive and responsive. Yeah, I practiced some last night uh, here, and the the tables were playing really nice and. I think it's going to be good. It's going to be good. The tables are set up real good. Quickly, 3-0 up on William Ang. I'll give you other scores after this, but one I must give you right now because it's one of Skyler's best buddies, Billy Thorpe. Quickly, 2-0 down against Chu Viet Huang. Event, you know, seems to be in, in real good form. He's been training hard and, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, he's looking good, but we'll see. Seems to me, though, Scarlett, you've got some tough choices, as you say, because of who will be the other two. Tyler Steyer in the equation, Billy Thorpe, Oscar Dominguez, who's a terrifically loyal. Earlier, it's uh, definitely going to be a tough decision, and, um, you know, we'll we'll see. I'm going to be watching this week as this is the last form. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough decision, but got to do what I got to do, I guess. Uh, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. And if they don't make the team, it's massive disappointment. Oh yeah, for for sure, it's it'll be a disappointment for who doesn't make the team, as they've traveled all year long for it. Um, it is what it is. It's gonna be it's, it's gonna be really hard on me, but uh, yeah, I mean they've all had good years. I feel like and this year and automatically qualify yourself that would help matters in terms of freeing up another wild card yeah I mean that would be the that's the plan that's the plan still for me to make it for the cup so uh, we'll we'll see yeah because I, I, I mean I think I think they're gonna be under pressure this week and we'll, we'll see how they perform and and what happens what happens this week yeah that was a that was actually a great jump a great attempt it was super long jump and it's hard to control and he almost made the ball really
it looks like a pretty simple save just roll up on the ball just keeping the pressure on his opponent waiting for I oh, made a great hit and this is what Jason was wanting yeah you have to say when done fine not having much quality table time every time he comes to the table it seems he's hooked or in an awkward position yeah I mean Jason's did really well keeping him in his keeping him in his been kicking and, and the opportunity he did have he um, he didn't get a good shot on the the five ball earlier but bro um, but for a guy like Jason this this shot is uh, pretty pretty easy and he he popped it in with ease he even retained a natural angle to come round off three cushions for a straight and eight sided nature of the match continues it is 4-0 now and Bobby Capito's lead has been cut to 3-2 over Lee Nagoktuan um, he's just playing playing smart shots and, and getting the opportunities Yeah, this game, this game right here could be a could be a long one if, if they don't get in a good good spot for the four, or if he can, so really need to make a hit here. If you don't want to get ball in hand. Okay. Yeah, to me. You know, the more you watch nine ball pool, the more you see it, the more you appreciate it. The more you realize that, yes, skill is massive, but knowledge. But Jason got a little out of line here. He clipped the five after he drew off of the two. Left himself straight on the three, but. playing reasonably or very tough because obviously we do have variations I thought the pockets at the UK Open this year were the tightest I've ever seen the, the toughest they've been I feel like uh, but I liked them also I feel like they were playing really nice uh, these guys make mistakes you know I, I enjoy that I enjoy that a little more um, getting to see people uh, yeah these tables they're playing a little more forgiving than than those for sure and uh, but they will spit the ball out if you if you hit it hard and, and jaw it at all I think it's if you can play well and you know have a match like this where you can play like you said a bunch of different shots to get him down because the tables are are sliding. Like I say, he's in a really tough spot here. I don't Five. know actually about hitting it. This is a very smart decision, tying up the ball. It's in for the Reyes Cup in Manila Five. next week. On the microphone now, Carl Boys. Well, I feel I'd just like to apologise. Look on the door, and then the hotel reception just wandered in. I was like, "What's going on here?" <laughs> and the safety shot's going a little bit wrong. You have to go rail first to avoid the scratch. Well, he didn't avoid the scratch. For yourself, so. At least you've come clean. 
I'm still going to blame Jeremy because usually I do the second match for. So I'm going to push the blame. Do that anyway. Well, I'll tell you what, Phil. I fully understand why. I thought it'd be easy as well. You know, obviously you always feel like it's between a few people, a few of the players, but I found it very felt exactly the same and. In the end, I, I was struggling to pick, and I was actually, believe it or not, I was late for <laughs> getting the picking. This is a handy fluke, but. Been dad fly. The amount of quality table time he's had has been negligible. Yeah. Another decent pop. It's a shame. Played a couple of nice shots up until that point. And look at where the ball is perfect. The angle and everything for Jason. Well, of course, you were still in the land of Nod when this happened. But in the first rack, Shaw potted an attack fests. But tactically, he's kept things really tight. And he's treated his opponent with the utmost respect. And that's the reason the scoreline is so heavily weighted. In All the years and... All the experience that Jason's got just as he misses that set. So it wasn't available for win and neither is this. Yeah, it was a bit of a half hearted attempt at the jump bank, but well as well, so he's gotta sort of play this pretty hard if he goes for the pot, which I'm sure he will. Well he didn't, okay. Very conservative. Yeah, I don't really blame him for that. He knew he was going to get a good cube. Trying to get on the top rail. It's a horrible shot. If you hit it either side, you need a bit of luck. Well, he's missed it by a long old way there, Phil, didn't he? He was a mile away. Sure from a 7-0 advantage. Yeah, he just feels for Jay. He's, he's basically just trying to size up the table. It, it's the speed, it's getting the back arm ready. Yes, and tables change from day to day, don't they? Let alone year to year. C2 down to Chu Viet Huang. And Andre Januata from Indonesia. 7 0 up on Jockey Vongze. One thing I noticed, Phil, is I thought, well, you're going to have your work cut out this week. I speak to our terrific TV crew here, and they tell me all of the, the correct pronunciations. Yeah, KK playing JJ. Yeah, not our very own Jeremy Jones. I, I had a feeling JJ might enter. JJ will be in the com box in the next match. The knowledge. Slower. I'm not saying it's mega slow, but yeah, I agree with you. Actually, don't think in terms of reactivity, there's a problem. Or is here. Oh, you just seem to miss a few balls, Phil, don't you? I know you've been involved in Q Sports a long time, and. You know, if this match was like, say, 4-4, you just feel like Jason would pop that ball down. Unlike that shot, which was not spot on. This is not what you need. Well, he likes that side pocket. He got done on a three foul up. And I suppose you've just got to laugh, haven't you, Phil? What keeps a defending champion? And he's 8-0 down. Yes, it could have easily been a couple of racks for win, but Chung, the former US Open champion, 4-2 up on Fan Van Kien. But there's no doubt right now who's having the, the easiest task, and that is Jason Shaw. Type speed, we see players like Eklund catch SVB. They go full throttle, and, and that means your opponent 
can either play the shot or put you back in. So that's why Jason's back at the table. And this has all gone wrong. Yeah, good pot. Bit of distance. He's got work to do here. Purple five. May even go into the two balls accidentally. That might end up helping him. Yeah, see how it's just nudged it out of the way. For the down up there, it's never nice. And, and to be honest, Phil, I know I've not done the full match. You're not going to let me forget about this, but it looks a good cue to me. Looks very compact. Seems to strike the cue ball well for at least half an hour. Have you been, ever been late to the com box, Phil, in all the years you've done it? You must have been, come on. In a thousand dreams, it's one of the dreams I have. And I suppose say, yeah, I've been late loads of times. This will work out okay. You know, the full ball to... I think he can actually pop this ball, you know. Yeah, he could. So what looked like... At first, the two C was the potting angle. This is a nice little safety cue ball on the back rail. Use that nine. Oh, he's caught the point. Well, look at that. That is bizarre. I mean, I think he feels like it's hit a bit of that and acted a bit weird on him. Very bizarre. Well, this is a great chance for its first rack. Come on, two. Then again, well, you know, I'm, we have players who are a master with cue ball control. Well, he's got his first nine ball of this match. So at least he can take something away from this, Phil. Yes. Wait for this break and I'll tell you the identity of the first player to get a win in this year's Hanoi Open. It is... Run the cue ball off two, three rails towards the red three ball. Yeah, this likes pace, though. The right idea just didn't hit it. That's a shame. Phil, you're going to see some of the top pool players in the world. Obviously, get out there and battle, and a lot of them will be playing players they may not be too familiar with. Jason Comp. Not the intended. Take it away. Well, on table seven, there's a gentleman playing called Kunihiko Takahashi from Japan, who's 5-2 down to Matt Edwards. Now, that name, Kunihiko Takahashi... You would find it hard to believe there's two players, two pool players from Japan with the same name, so I think it is, and yeah, I mean, maybe Jeremy jo Position, isn't it? Jeremy Jones will know. He's like how. Tom, obviously, I know you've been on uh, Wikipedia, but. Yeah, apparently, Takahashi is now 55 years old. He's from Nagasaki, Japan. Sure. This does pop past that nine ball. Yeah, he didn't play that. I think he was trying to sniff and get out of the arena. It's very warm in here as well. Don't feel like it's as warm as last year, though, Phil. I don't know your take on it. Well, our country position's in a slightly different spot, so maybe that's influencing things. Warm enough, though, the game of Jason Shaw, who's defeated when that fight very comfortably, and he's delighted to get his title defence underway with a 9-1 victory.